Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Walkie, and I'm here with a very different kind of video, but I'm back with Fake Grand Order. Um, so, we got the website, we got the news. August 3rd is when, I believe it's August 3rd actually, now that I look up, yeah, it's August 3rd. Um, August 3rd is when uh, Summer 3 is going to be coming. Um, what I've been calling, and I think a good amount of people have been calling, the Summer of Despair. The Infinite Summer Hell. Um, uh, so today's video, I just kind of want to go over the information, maybe say a little bit more about what the event's going to be like, and then actually looking at the units for part one. Um, there's two parts, there's technically three parts, so I'm going to get over, over all of it. So that's what today's video is going to be. If you like it, I hope you leave a like, comment about how you feel and what summer banners are you going for. The funny thing is, is that I think there's actually a pretty good case, depending on what you got, that some people will probably be going more for summer, um, the guy banner than there is going to be for the girl banner. So of course, the first thing we're going to look at the, ver the event limited servant is, uh, Jean Dark Alter Berserker. She has the Yu Yu Hakusho um, Darkness of the Flame Dragon. So that's cool about her. She's um, every time there's a summer event, the five the the free four star is always a an extremely popular um, five star. It always has been, always will be. If you ever want to know if a leak is true, you have to make sure that the free four the free four that they picked is a five servant if it's not a five servant they're automatically feeding you bullshit um because they've always been that way um from the first year it was a uh, skahawk assassin skahawk second year was uh rider ishtar third year is uh berserker jean jean the arc berserker um uh, i forget the nickname for her to be honest and then fourth year is uh, not ushi but it is the um foreigner girl who was a five uh not abby the one that's not abby the one that's currently my name the name is being blank on me so forgive me for that um so yeah tropical servant it is going to be manga related we're making manga a lot of the craft essences that we're going to be getting we're going to get some cool looking um craft essences and they're going to be manga related there's a real good one related to we can't study uh, or we never learn depending on <laughs> what what part of the fandom you started uh, reading it um and for banner one we've got Jean, Summer Jean, Summer Banana, Summer Ushi, and some other things that they're not showing. So this is basically what the current site is showing, but because we live in NA, we know what's coming for the future. So let's switch over to over here. This is the summer, uh, the summer events, so it's going to have a week and loop mechanic. So certain events and quests will appear on specific date and times. There are seven days, however, the seventh day is where you will choose a doujinshi CE. After choosing the day, will reset back to day one and you will loop one and so on. Uh, if you miss the day needed, you will have to go through the cycle on the next loop. To finish one day cycle, you have to play two free quests. You can also skip the seventh day by repeating the sequel scenario in the chosen Dojinji uh, CE. So we have time, noon, night. I'm not 100% sure what a lot of this stuff is about because I mainly play NA and I don't, I'd don't. i never played it in JP. But every single person that plays JP that has told me about this event is said it is one of the worst for grinding in general. So that should be fun. New Mystic Code is Tropical Summer. Um, Tropical Summer gives us, uh, recovers one servant's HP. That's the wrong code. Forgive me for that one. Tropical Summer is right here. Splat, uh, Blue Splash, 500% chance to increase one uh, survey's arts performance for one turn. Increase their MP damage for one turn. 500% chance to increase one servant's critical rate absorption of arts, arts, arts cards for one turn. And 500 chance to increase one servant's buff resistance for one turn and charges their MP by 10%. Uh, yeah. It's a CE for art specific thing, which actually makes sense because it goes with uh, Summer Jean because she's an art servant. We're going to get costume dresses for dudes. Fate does not do summer dude banners because they don't believe in dudes. <laughs> That's just the way of the game. Um, but these specific costumes are really good. They are for Dantes, Gilgamesh Caster. If you have Archer, it will not work with it. And Robin Hood. So it's a three, a four, and a five. Uh, Monte Cristo Selection, Establishment, Summertime Hunter. All very good, I would say. They all look very fantastic. We already got the animation update for Dantes a long time ago. 
Uh, we should get some command codes. The first servant grants self 300 damage, cut one time, one turn. When attacking using the engraved card, increases critical rate absorption by 100% of the engraved card, and increases critical star generation rate by 30% on the engraved card. That's the three cards we'll be getting. Um, and now let's actually go to the banner. So this is the banner that should show up with it. It should have Jean the Orc, Ibaraki, and Ushihara. So let's first look at Jean. And of course these are the CEs. Uh, Emerald Float increases art performance by 15%, increases MP damage by 15%, drops some plus one for BB Bill. Storm and Waves increase buzzer performance by 8%, increases MP damage by 8%, increases MP generation rate by 8%, drops BB Mimi Bill, and this is All Night Fever. Increases MP generation rate by 5%, increases critical rate damage, and this is a Gill Bill. <laughs> Gill Bill. It's a funny name for it. Anyway, let's get into actual units here, the the sexy part of everything. So here we have Jean. Uh, this is her stage one, this is stage two, this is stage three, which is I always felt was god awful, but that's her April Fools. Um, her active skill is Endless Enjoy Summer, increases own arch performance for three turns, grants self invincibility for two turns. Um, it's 30% at skill 10, and it's 20% at level one. Uh, we have Waterfront Satanless Dolphin, charges on MP gauge, increases on MP damage for 3 turns, increases own critic damage by Waterside Battlefield for 3 turns. Uh, at level 1, she gets 10 20% MP, 10% MP damage, and 30% crit damage. At level 10, she has 40%, 20%, 50%. Uh, and of course, the 50% for crit damage only happens if you are fighting in a Waterside Battlefield. Um, Servant Cheer increases the party's attack for 3 turns and further increases the method of the good alignment for 3 turns. 10%, 10% at level 1 and 20% at both skill 10. Uh, her passive skills are Magic Resistance B, Independent Action Celebi, I don't know, I don't know what that means, Celeb, I guess it means Celebrity. Increases on critical damage by 10%, charges on MP gauge for 3% when she's by the water side. Um, I'm not even going to pretend. As the ocean gets abundant, we get to delight in it. Deals damage to all enemies. She's AoE. Uh, at level 1, it's 450%. If you somehow get 5, that's 750%. And at uh, charge 1, it's 10 crit star generations per turn for 3 turns. And if you somehow get her to 500%, it is 30. And her ascension will require some ice and some seashells of remnants. And these things that Scotty uses, the aura steel. So... Um, currently the Summer 2 uh, shop has these both in abundance, so you should get those for sure if you are unsure if you're going to have enough skills for her. Her skill reinforcements are also very rough, I would say. Actually, yeah, it was, no, I'm going to say very rough. Feather, everyone uses Phoenix Feathers. These are in very short supply at the moment, just because we haven't really had a way to grind a whole bunch of them uh, recently. Um, and Seashells, all, all the Summer units use them. And if you somehow get her to bond 10, you get the Sea Angel, but this never really matters. So, how good is she? Uh, she's very good, actually. I used her a little bit in JP, because I do have her on the Japanese account. I didn't play the event, but I did pull for her. Uh, no, I didn't pull for her. I actually got it from uh, got it from someone. So, anyway, her main thing is that she's very good at looping with her... Um, Similar to how Artoria or uh, Summer Saber in the first summer was very good at looping, she's very good at looping but with her AoE arts, which is very good because uh, um, arts farming kind of doesn't get a lot of love for a lot of reasons because they have the weakest, um, and by weakest I put weakest in quotes. I would say that um, Tam Tamamo is still extremely good. The only problem, is, uh, forgive me if I'm not saying that right, because I constantly forget if I'm not saying that name right. It always sounds wrong when I say it. So if I say it wrong, apologies for all the, the Fox Fox wife fans out there. Um, Arts is usually the one that's mostly ignored because Tamamo doesn't have a 50% MP charge on her. Like even Merlin doesn't have one of those, but he has 20% and he has gorilla strength. Um, so Arts usually ends up getting forgotten. Um, but Jean is very good at looping. I've looped with her and i don't even have a tamomo in uh, jp tamomo so i think she's very good good enough to go crazy chasing i'm not gonna tell you how to live your life man what i do know is that both these sprites are very good so live your life be free next unit is of course ibaraki she's a four summer unit um just to quickly go over her she increases party's attack increases own np damage for three turns increases own np generation for three turns 10%, 20%, 20% at skill 1, 
uh, and attack 20%, MP damage 30%, and MP rate 30% at level skill 10. Uh, her second skill, excuse me, it's a lot. I'll be going, I'm not be going home yet. Removes on debuffs, increases on max HP for three turns. Uh, at skill level one, it's 1,000. 1, 1, and at skill level 10, it's 2,000. Not bad. Um, and her third skill is Summertime Trouble Girl. Increases on crit star absorption for one turn. Increases on crit star damage for one turn. I should mention the second skill actually is applied for three turns. So it's 6,000 by the end of it, assuming that it's not removed. And a cooldown of 5, that's not bad. I didn't really talk about cooldowns, but having cooldowns is very important. Having a low cooldown is pretty good, I should say. Um, randomly increases or reduces on debuff resistance by 30% for one turn. Increases or debuff. <laughs> that's funny, I didn't know that she had that. Um, her absorption is 300% at level 1 and 30% at level 1 for crit damage, and crit damage is at 50% and 500% absorption at level 10. Um, she got mag magic resistance and mad enhancement, and her noble phantasm deals damage that uh, ignores defense buffs to one enemy, 500% chance to reduce own crit star generation by 50% for 3 turns. Uh, wow, that's, that's not the greatest, that's a demerit. Um, for a reason. And you gain 30 crit stars when you use it, so that's probably why. Okay, that makes sense. Um, oops, this, I've been going so long, the song stopped. There we go. Let's get back to it. Um, yeah, and our MP damage is 600% at level 1, and then level 5 is 1,000, so. 30 crit stars at overcharge 1, and then if you get it to 500%, it is, 500, it is 50, which is more than enough. I would say at level 1, that's more than enough that you would need. You don't need more than 30 for most cases, um, and it's or it's a buster. It's a buster type. Uh, I like Ibaraki, especially this Lancer form of her. I think she's very silly. Uh, her NP, I believe, is her occasionally exploding. No, I'm thinking of the, um, the Halloween 4. Uh, it's her looking at fireworks, which is very good, and then eating cotton candy, which I think is funny, which is very good. Um, so, you know, Summer Servants are either hit or miss. They're built specifically. The good thing about Fake Grand Order is that every unit is built specifically so that if you love them, you can beat just about any stage with them. It's all a matter of one time and two, how much time do you have? Uh, so that's how I kind of feel about that. And just finally to go to Ushi, uh, we've got her, here it is, stage two, stage three, stage four. Big fan of one and three personally. Stage two, I don't know. Don't, not a fan of the wide, the wideness. That's how I feel. Digging the hair though. This is her in April Fool's. <laughs> I'll, yeah, it's very good. Animal Dialogue D, Charge Zone MP Gauge at 1 is 20%. At level 10, it is 40%. Uh, grants Self Evasion for 1 turn. Increases Quick Arts Performance for 3 turns. At level 1, it is 20%. At level 10, it is 30%. And that is her skill 2. And her skill 3 is Increase on Crit Start Absorption for 1 turn. Grants Self Debuff Immunity for 1 turn. 40% chance to remove enemy buffs when Normal Attack for 1 turn. Absorption 100%, 500% at level 10. Uh, her Noble Phantasm does 600% damage at level 1. It is also, I believe, an AoE. Deals damage to all enemies and removes their offensive buffs. Offensive buffs are attack up, quick up, arts up, stuff like that. Double hit count up, stuff like that. At uh, MP level 1, it is 600%. At level 5, it is 1000. Um... And it reduces their quick resistance for three turns. At charge one, it is 100%. It is a, a 20% quick resistance minus. Um, she, I like her a whole bunch. Uh, I really like this Ushi. She is, I believe, an assassin type. And I've been needing a new assassin for uh, farming, you know, because I use the Scotty system. Um, and the one problem with, that I have with Skahawk with uh, her summer variant is that she might have a chance of accidentally killing the opponent. <laughs> and if she insta-kills them, you don't get any buffs from that. You don't get any of the MP generation. She also has five hits in her MP amount, which is very important for quick. Uh, so yeah, I would definitely want her for my farming purposes. I also, in general, like her unit a good amount. Uh... I think her skill 3 isn't... I'm going to have to see it in action. This 40% chance to remove enemy boss on normal attacks sounds okay, but these effects never end up actually working for anything. Uh, the other two are solid for me, though. 
Um, very solid. Don't like that the, her skill one is at level 10. That's six charge. I don't know. That's too much. That's too much. <laughs> Considering some units have it at five. I think that's too much. But anyway, especially since it's not giving any additional effects. But yeah, that's summer part one. Uh, the thing I wanted to mention for the guy banner part two, the thing that you want to w watch out for, um, these CEs are fine. Hero on the beach, sunset jam, riding high. They all, they're all fine. There's, I mainly use these for farming. I would, my main point for any of these is to farm during summer three. So, um, some people will definitely want to try. If you got Scotty and you got her fully built up, this is currently, I think, the best. One of the best quick units you can put with her. Um, I think the three that usually come to mind. Forgive me if there's more in, on the JP side that I'm ignoring. I don't. I don't mean to mislead people. I just sometimes don't 100% keep track of everything until it's 100% time for NA to get them. Um, but at, but Dantes is like uh, top three in my mind when I think of them. It's Valkyrie, it's Parvati, and then is Dantes, and then fourth would be uh, Lancelot. <laughs> But in terms of not having to have, um, uh, I guess they're more self-sufficient, I guess. I mean, no, you know what? To be fair to Lancelot, I think I would actually put Lancelot over Valkyries, personally. Uh, in terms of units, I think about not in terms of goodness. Just so, don't don't come fighting for me. I love the Valkyries more than Lancelot. I think Valkyries are a better unit. <laughs> it's just that I think of Lancelot when I think of farming because of the Berserker status. Uh, but, not the, but Dantes is an Avenger, so he, similar to Lancer, can kind of fight every single class but one. So uh, I might throw a multi at this because I ended up getting Scotty. So I kind of wanted Dantes to go with her. So, all right. And that's kind of summer. Well, I'll be back for... I'll be back for this one when we get closer to the day. But yeah, that's kind of what we're going to be going for. That's going to be summer three. It should be hopefully some fun, but also a lot of crazy grinding. Um, looking forward to making... Uh, manga with everyone so that's the end of today's video everyone i hope you liked it uh if you did remember to leave that like if you want to tell me which one of these units are you looking forward to most are you personally waiting for summer two a lot of people are waiting for bb my brother included are waiting because bb my god if there was one unit from summer that you know how i say like oh you know all summer units are usually good bb is disgusting what the shenanigans you can put with this woman are gross. And I'll talk about that more when we get closer to the time of talking about Summer Part 2. But for, now, for right now, my focus is on them. So until next time, everyone, goodbye. Have a good day. See ya.